Hey guys, Mike from Getting Greasy Garage. Doing a late one here tonight, so decided to mock up the front air ride. I just want to make sure that all the parts I got were the right ones, that uh, everything was going to put me to the right ride height, and or back to the right ride height, and also get me as low as I wanted. Um, well, <laughs> It dropped six and a half inches from from the stock ride height when the front bags are deflated. So it looks pretty good. Uh, this right now is what would be stock ride height. I measured. I measured this before I started, and I added an inch and a half, two inches, to consider for the weight of the engine transmission. Um, you know, that's kind of a guess, but nonetheless, uh, looking at six and a half inches of drop, so, there's that front cross, or that center cross member underneath the engine, right now is at 11 inches off the ground. When I drop this, which, there's no air in the airbags, I got lines running and stuff, but I have to, uh, get another fitting so I can, uh, hook it up to the manifold and play with it a little bit so I'll be onto that tomorrow but uh, I just wanted to see that the uh, bag cup mounting cups were the right spacing I didn't need to cut them down um, it puts this very front cross member here about three and a, that's where the uh, course board actually bolts on and it puts that literally about three inches off the ground. Of course, that's still at the back at stock height, but everything's going to come down even more. Um, you know, the, the front bumper on this thing is pretty big. So I'll probably pop that on tomorrow just to get a good look at things. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, anyway, there's the, the bags are not inflated, of course. So, I'll drop her down here. Hold on, I got to use two hands to turn the jack. All right, let's go low. Low, 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 low. Now that... Front. <coughs> that is all the way down. I have to force the floor jack underneath the front of it. Uh, that's about as tall as a pack of smokes. So, <laughs> one thing I like is when it's low. The tire doesn't take on that ridiculous uh, angle that a lot of these slammed trucks and cars do. I didn't. I don't like the look of that. You know, I realized that as the control arms move, the angle of the tire is going to change. But this is reasonable looking. But yeah, she low. I mean, there's the end of the frame with my foot under it. That's it. So here's a one liter bottle of Coke for reference. And it'll even sit a little bit lower with the weight of the engine in here. That's another 700 pounds. So uh, I don't have the snubbers on it right now, but I will. But it'll, it's going to come all the way down and hit the snubbers, that's for sure. So now that I know everything's cool, I'm going to go ahead and... Excuse me, pull everything back apart. Weld the airbag cups into the lower control arms where they belong. Um, weld the upper cups in. 
I got a center bolt, but I just don't quite trust that. So a couple of good welds. I mean, the, the, once they're in there, they're they're not a lot of places they can go. But I just want to make sure that nothing pops out, it gets weird. So, but she low. Pretty happy with that. I can't wait to see the back now. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll leave the front like this and mock up the back tomorrow. So, still doing some floor pan work inside, but uh, needed a break from that. So I figured it was time to mock all this stuff up and see that everything fit in case I had to reorder something or ship something back. Um, you know, big shout out to, to Air Slam It. Everything I got from them fit perfect. And easy to hook up. Even, excuse me, even the uh, final install will be pretty easy. I mean, it's just, it's like those shark bite fittings, you know, they push together. So... Maybe tomorrow I'll throw some air to this, and we'll play with it a little bit. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Um, you know, the I had the a or control arms all stripped down, ready for sandblasting. So, but I went ahead and threw the ball joints and bushings and stuff back in them. All that'll come back out. So that I can blast everything before I paint it. Uh, the frame's still got to be painted. This way I can do the welding that I want to do. I'm not ruining nice paint. I'm having to paint it over again. Um, still waiting on a new surprise for the shop. But I'm going to be very tickled to death to show you guys when I get it. It's supposed to be here today. Not here today. Maybe tomorrow. But anyway guys. Uh. Enough out of me. I think I'm going to wrap it up for the night and hit her fresh in the morning. Maybe we'll uh, get that four link thrown under the back. At least tack welded in enough that uh, I can pull the leaf springs out and we can see it sitting on the floor. Low on the floor. So, alright, guys. Ugh. Sorry for the yawning. It's been a long day. Um, anyway, if you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Ring the bell for notifications. Um, you know, all the subscribing and all this stuff is free. It doesn't cost you a penny. And it greatly helps the, the channel. And uh, also tells me what you guys actually want to see, you know, kind of a guessing game on my end. I've had a request to show the shaving the door handles. I'm going to get into that after a bit. But, uh, all right, that's it. See ya.